It's uh, quite a day here in San Francisco at Gladstone. Chinya's remarkable story uh, being acknowledged today is not the end, but it's really the beginning. The work that Shinya has done is transformative to much of what uh, we at Gladstone do, and scientists all over the world have picked up uh, his principles and, and his technologies to advance work towards clinical application. Here at Gladstone, we work on three areas of disease, cardiovascular disease, brain disease, and diseases caused by deadly viruses, and reprogramming techniques pioneered by Shinya, but picked up by other colleagues you'll hear from soon, are being applied now to find solutions for, for patients. What we have before us is a discovery that has been a game changer for how we will approach human disease in the coming years. It's happening today already in our ability to use this new technology to understand why human disease occurs and how to find new drugs to tackle this. And in the next five to 10 years, you'll likely see the same technology being leveraged for being able to regenerate organs and create uh, new treatments of regenerative medicine for many, many different human diseases. Now at Gladstone, with Shinya's presence here over the last five years, uh, I had recruited him here in 2007, and soon thereafter, his technology spread to over half of the laboratories at the Gladstone Institutes and throughout many laboratories at UCSF as well as across the world. Here within this building, I think we've become the epicenter, if you will, uh, in the world for understanding how we can reprogram cells, not just to become stem cells as Shinya first showed, but now more recently, how we can reprogram cells to turn into whatever type of cell that we want and might need for human disease. Shinya first showed you could take a skin cell and turn it into a stem cell and essentially remove the ethical debate around human embryonic stem cells. Since then, we've been able to take a, a skin cell and turn it into a heart muscle cell without even becoming a stem cell. And other investigators at Gladstone have taken skin cells and turned them into brain cells and insulin producing cells. And it's likely that what you'll see in the next two years is the ability of scientists all over the world to use the same conceptual advance that Shinya gave us and take a skin cell and turn it into any cell type in the body. And this builds on the last 15 to 20 years of understanding how embryos normally form in the womb and essentially leveraging that same information on an adult cell and redeploying nature's own information to now recreate the cell type that we might need to cure human disease. This is a game changer and this will revolutionize medicine over the coming decade, if not sooner. Today, I think, uh, marks a high watermark of the wonderful relationship between the University of California, San Francisco, and the Gladstone Institutes that we have enjoyed now for several decades. Between us, able to attract uh, the best and brightest minds to the Bay Area, to San Francisco, to work on the hardest problems in human biology. And as has been referenced, uh, to attract the best and brightest students who will be the next generation and train. Uh, those and I think both Nobel laureates that we're celebrating today should create a great deal of inspiration for our young students.